Good morning. I am in KC for Sawsome Con. Just got my ticket, found out the schedule and all that. I'm gonna go exploring, figure out the layout of the place and figure out what I wanna do tomorrow uh, and, and where those things are. Pretty stoked. I'm gonna go change into One Punch Man. I was explaining in this clip, but you can't tell because of either the wind or the way I was holding the microphone. The audio got totally botched, but I was trying to explain that One Punch Man, for those of you who don't know, his character is kind of like a satire of what it means to be a real hero and uh, kind of just making fun of how overpowered uh, the superheroes of, of the modern era are. And in a sense, I think that gets summed up really well by one of his nicknames, which is hero for fun and that is part of the inspiration for this vlog series and what I want to do with this vlog series uh, why I'm dressing up as One Punch Man. Let's get back to the normal video. But what I wanted to say is a huge thank you. How do I say this? I don't necessarily feel like I fit in just because like I'm not somebody that knows a lot of anime. I pretty much only know anything about one anime and that's this one that I really 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 like which is One Punch Man, right? And so my first time I had some some friends that were going to Nakacon and like two weeks before that they told me about it and I was like oh I want to go as One Punch Man and I decided to do it and like in two weeks we threw we threw together this costume and I went to Nakacon I had a blast while I was making the costume I came to a point where I realized I'm not sure I have the kind of confidence that can just wear something like this it's a it's like a I mean it's tight it's tight fitting and and it sh you know shows off all of, all of the weaknesses of my of my physique, including being shaved, being bald, which is like, I, I like having hair. I definitely am not, I don't enjoy, I don't like being bald. Definitely hate being bald on my face. I always have a beard. So it was really hard for me to really think through that and like to process through that and like come to a decision to actually do it. And I was like, maybe I'll go without a costume the first time, see what it's like and like get familiar with, you know, uh, what it's like and, and then I'll have the guts. Someday, someday in the future, I'll have the guts to go as One Punch Man. But instead, I watched this video by, oh, oh his name is so confused, but it's right here. All right, so what I was saying, well, well, you gotta see it for yourself, but this kid, he loves it, and he wears it, and he owns it, and I love that, and like, it spoke to me, and I just, that was when I realized, like, this is something I can do that I love to do. This is something I, I can love to do. The inspiration that this kid was to me is what I wanted to be to other people, and that was like, that was the turning point where I was like, no, I have to. I have to follow through. I have to do this thing that, that I really like the idea of doing. I've been a nerd fighter for a long time, and so I've, and I've always enjoyed celebrating people's enthusiasm. This is a way to really celebrate that in a, in a, in a like real life sort of way, like physical, like real life sort of way. So, and I love it so much and I'm so glad I did it. And now this is the second conference I've gotten to go to. This one's really small. So I kind of like that it's gonna be the first one on the vlog, even though it wasn't the first one that happened. It's much lower scale. Uh, it's not me and a bunch of friends running around being silly. It's just me here at Sawsome Con, and I've already had one person recognize me from NakaCon. I get a lot of compliments for my for my costume, even though it's home homemade and it's like, you know, coming apart. Like you see how dirty this is. You know how many times I've stepped on this or had someone else step on it? It's pretty obvious that it's just a sheet. But it's it's my sheet, it's my costume, and I love it. It's day three of SauceCon, and it's been a whirlwind for me. I'm sleeping in a rental car. I have made some new friends. Alex Stevenson, spelled with a PH instead of a V. <laughs> awesome. Let me tell you everything I've done at SauceCon so far. Well, that's not, that's, I'm not gonna remember everything, but a bunch of the things I've done at SauceCon so far. Friday, I got here pretty late. Didn't really understand where everything was or what everything was, so I basically just explored. Signed up for the costume contest. Then I met this awesome lady named Lincoln Link in the right here right right here there's a little eye up here somewhere so we're professional jewelry and costume designers and artists and educators on YouTube and in person at conventions what's your channel's name Yvonne Williams because I don't know how to change it 
<laughs> Chain mail, wire wrapping, polymer clay, leather working. We do tutorials every other day. Scale mail. Oh, there's let's plays for video games. We do let's crafts. Do you really? So yeah, where it's like kind of like Twitch streaming and we do props, like all kinds of stuff. Her and I, we were talking about different kinds of cosplay and stuff. And I went to her panel where she was teaching cosplay. Her and her friends did another panel about. But yeah, they were both great. I learned a lot. Took a bunch of notes. Pretty soon after that is when I decided to go to bed. So then I found a gas station, parked there, stayed the night. Then for most of the morning, I went to panels again. And that is when I made this. It's a, it's chain mail. I learned how to make chain mail. Although I never successfully made any chain mail. I did successfully make this. Completely wrong from the pattern. Uh, not consistent at all. It's fine. But yeah, I clamped that onto my wrist, so I don't really have a way to get it back off. But that's when I met my favorite cosplayer this year, which was Zoigberg. He had taken a glove. Fantastic Zoigberg. And this guy is hilarious. Main? Bane? Zane? Zane? Bane? Bedane? Dame? Bane? I don't remember her character's name. But she's dressed up as a cowboy, and he's dressed up as Zoigberg. After that, or maybe before that, or after that, I don't know. I'm not, I'm not the best remembering her, but basically I got judged like my I got my my costume judged. I have never been so What's the word they have for stage fright? What's that called? Nervous. I have never been more visibly nervous in my entire life. Don't get me wrong. I've been more nervous before, but I've always been able to like put on a smile put on a show, put on my, my turtle shell, and just like wing it and everybody thinks, oh wow, he was confident. But there was no hiding it. I walked in there, I was like shaking, I was sweating, I was like stumbling through my sentences, I could barely talk. <laughs> the poor judges are like asking me the most simple questions about the most simple costume in the world, and I'm just like dying. And it's just like, it's a room, it's only the judges, it's not like there's a big crowd or anything. I do great with big crowds, but super nerve-wracking. I've definitely never had an experience like that, but I need to. That's how you learn to cosplay. Two out of out of the three judges, as it turns out, were people who I had been in panels with. Oh, so then for the actual contest, everybody, whether you won or not, gets like goes up on stage and does their pose in front of the crowd. And so when I went up there, you get three poses. My first pose was like the one I do for m the vast majority of pictures, because people come up and they ask you to do pictures with them. And the majority of the pictures, I just I just stand there awkwardly like this. And then my second pose, I just flexed. And then my third pose, I like tried to give the peace sign, like like a peace out, and just walk off the stage. But instead, I just did one finger, and I like looked at my hand awkwardly, and I was like, wait a second, why is why one finger? That that's not a peace sign. And so then I put up the second finger, and then I walked off, and everybody laughed because it was obvious that I, well maybe it wasn't obvious that I didn't mean to, but I had fun. And then I walked off the whole time. You know, we have to sit in order and we have to sit in this in this back area. And we sat and we talked. It was both of our first time and so we were both pretty nervous. But once we got up there, it was super fun. She killed it, I killed it, we all killed it. It was great. Finding out the contestant winners took a while. But by by the time it was done, me, Zoigberg, and Cowboy Girl, Bane, Zane, Dane, Gain, Blaine, Bame, Game. Dame, I don't remember. We went to cosplay combat. Ha <laughs> <laughs> 
Zoigberg, you were born for this. I failed, just like my career as a comedian. <laughs> 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 